Moving on to the town manager's report. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, as was sort of indicated earlier, uh, this Friday, January 29th, 2016, at 3 p.m., uh, we are going to be selling at auction the property at 27 Pearl Street. Uh, we hope a lot of folks will show up and express some interest, and we can get that back in the tax rolls as soon as possible. Uh, property owners who are interested in applying for exemptions from real estate should contact the assessor's office before March 1, 2016 to complete the necessary forms and submission materials that must be submitted by that date or you will not be able to apply in 2016. Property owners at the Hampton Beach, in, that live in the Hampton Beach precinct who wish to apply for the tax assessment reduction must contact the assessing department before April 15th to obtain and complete the necessary forms for submission by that date. The deliberative session of town meeting will be held this coming Friday, January 30th at 8.30 a.m. at the Winnicott High School. Saturday. Saturday, yeah. I'm going to do too many things on Friday. <laughs> uh, Friday. I got Friday on the mind because of the sale. It's Saturday, January 30th, 8.30 a.m. The meeting starts uh, at Winnicott High School. Mr. Chairman, we've, we've received a, uh, I had a telephone call today from Pete Tilton, uh, who's been, as you know, he's, he's one of our uh, gentlemen who does a lot of fishing and clamming and so forth in the, in the general area. The clam flats have been closed now for several weeks, uh, a couple of months, actually. Um, there are very high bacteria counts that's keeping DES, keeping that closed down. Uh, they're trying to find the source of that material. It's somewhere on the Taylor River. Mm. They don't know where, uh, but as sort of a comparison, when Pete and I were talking, uh, apparently the count is high enough to believe that at least a small septic truck would be dumped in there daily mm. in order to uh, get the count that high. That may be a lot, but uh, where the state's inspecting everything along the Taylor River, hopefully we'll find that soon. It's not a town problem, I can tell you that, because we're not missing any, any of our effluent, and we really don't have any lines over there. Uh, I received a call today from the uh, United States Naval Shipyard in Portsmouth um, sometime this spring. We don't know when yet. The, obviously, um, these things are uh, somewhat classified as far as movements are concerned. The USS Hampton is going to be coming to Portsmouth. Oh, the sub is coming. And um, they would like us to participate as a host community for the sub's arrival. Oh. And uh, I indicated to them that we probably would like to do that. And. Uh, they're going to be in touch with us, and we're going to be in touch with them and try to come up with a, uh, a host community program. So we won't know when the, when the sub is going to arrive until sometime late spring, uh, and it's just a 24-hour window for us to be notified. So I think that's great. We'll keep on working on that. Uh, you had approved the purchase of an Ultra Nexus for the uh, Channel 22. Oh. That was purchased for $3,299, which was substantially less than the list we had, which was 5000 right. And uh, it's in the process of being worked on now mm -hmm. so that we can have a spare should, should our system break down again. That's it, sir. Great. Mr. Bridle. Well, I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear the clam flats are closed. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that enjoy that. I've also spoke every time at every town meeting we've had on on Sua West of 95. Yes. And, I, and I've said all along yeah. that how bad are we polluting Taylor River? Mm -hmm. And that we, at some point, we're going to have to address that. So, um, true. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that's happening, but it's, it's a problem. That's, it's a wake up call and it's something yep. waiting to happen. Yep. And we need to, at some point, this town needs to address sewering that area. That area is, is probably the most developed area west of 95. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are other parts of 95 that are still pretty rural, yeah, but that area with the trailer park and, and, the, and the number of houses down there, um, we, need to, we need to start taking a strong look at that over the next few years and what we're going to do about sewer over there. So, And we do have a plan to put sewer in. Right. So. Hmm. Mrs. Wolseley. Well, I will remind all and sundry that both the Budget Committee and the Board of Selectmen in 1986 put forth the first sewer bond for $7.8 million. 
with the understanding that the bonds would come up every five years. They would overlap at some point, but at least four or five of the bonds would be ongoing so that we could sewer the town. And after the first bond passed, everybody made excuses and didn't want to put them up because in 1991 the economy was bad. And, of course, we could have had a lot more for our money at a time like that. But there was no follow-through. So when you think back, that's a long time ago, and we've been sitting on our hands doing nothing. And, yes, we do need to do sewers. Yes. And by the way, with all the development going in on the Montrone property west of I-95, Mr. Bridal, you're going to see a lot more building over there. And most of his property is hooked to the sewer. Um, there's, that's well, that's probably going to continue, would be my guess. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. Mr. Bean. Mr. Welch, uh, you and the uh, command element, your department heads, the boards, the uh, budget committee, uh, uh, everybody that contributed to this, uh, this process, uh, uh, congratulations. Uh, it's the democracy in action. Uh, it is uh, fully transparent. There's a lot of participation. Uh, there's disagreement uh, in, on Saturday and then at the ballot uh, in March people come together and uh, they determine their budgets. The citizens do. And uh, you and your staff uh, along with other boards have worked hard and uh, I congratulate you and it has been a tremendous amount of work and sometimes it gets overlooked to produce uh, this executive type of quality in the warrants. Uh, and uh, uh, I just can't speak highly enough about uh, your leadership in the town, uh, your subordinates, and your uh, department heads, along with uh, the budget committee and, and this board here under Chairman Griffin. So thank you very much. We all thank you. Yes, sir. Um, and I would like to uh, congratulate Mr. Montron for developing his property and adding to the tax base in Hampton, and that he is, did take the responsibility to extend the sewer to the other side of 95, and I hope that he continues to partner with Hampton and we can appreciate further development of that type. That's the type of thing we need in Hampton, and Mr. Montrone is obviously a leader. Thank you. And Mr. Chairman, Mrs. Mrs. Wolseley. I have one more because Rusty got me off the subject on the sewers. Um, Mr. Montrone is not only making the town, uh, benefiting the town, he's benefiting the state to the tune of $105,000 on that cornerstone project. None of it coming to Hampton, and no immediate um, mitigation property that I've seen, although supposedly they have something in mind. So the state's got their paws in that, too. I have a couple of questions for Fred, and I didn't uh, really have a chance to ask when Christy was here. Um, the I have not received answers to my questions on the audit. I think the three questions that I submitted um, when Mr. Egan was in here, the first question I think he answered in pretty good shape, but the second and third, are we going to wait till the auditors come in, do you think? Or I would like to get an answer to my questions. They should be coming in very quickly in the next couple of weeks. Okay. And then on the 611-3 ordinance, because that whole ordinance, the wording of that whole ordinance was replaced, I know I'm being a pain in the neck. But could we possibly see a calculation on that? You said you felt it would come out the same as current, but I, I really would like to see a, a Is calculation. Is this under business or old business? Because we're going to be moving on. Well, to it's old under the business. tone. Well, well, I don't see it listed the town, there. Well, I don't think it's something right. he talked town about. Town manager. All okay, right. Why don't you save it for uh, either old okay. business or new business? All right. Um, I will do old Any business. Any other questions next. about his report? No. Nope. Okay, moving uh, on to oh, Mr. Waddell. I knew we were moving on to something. <laughs> Go over there. <laughs> Still here, you know, just <laughs> hanging out. No, I, I just want to ditto uh, on the sewerage thing that it's something that needs to be looked at, yeah. it needs to be investigated, it needs to be dealt with. I think that's uh, that's very important. And uh, ditto on on putting together all the Warren articles and all that. Thank you. 